In this session, we are going to take a look onto the AWS security group. First, we are going to see what is security group. Second, we are going to see what's the importance of our EC2 security group. And third, in the demo, we are going to see how to create an inbound security group and outbound security group onto AWS resources. Let's try to understand what is AWS security group. So AWS security groups are used to control the inbound and outbound traffic coming to your AWS resources. And these security group rules are imposed on a certain ports. Let's take a look onto a typical inbound security group. So here onto the screen, you can see an inbound rule which I have created. And this security uh, group for inbound rule is responsible for any incoming request. So here on the right hand side, you can see this is our EC2 instance where our applications are running. And that application is running on a port 80, which I have specified over here. So this is the rule which I have created for our incoming requests inside my security group. So as I told you, this security group is applicable on a certain port. And this time this port is this 80. So this is the port which I'm using to run my application. And if this security group is not present, then this user will not be able to access that particular application. So that's the reason you need to keep the security group inside uh, for your inbound as well as outbound role. So as of now, we are just taking a look onto the inbound role. So once the request comes from a user, then this security group rules will be checked and it will be checked whether that user is allowed to access port 80 or not. If it is allowed, then that application will be accessible for that user. Don't worry, I'm just going to show this demo later into this section in this session. Uh, but there is a one more port I have enabled, which is 22. So this 22 port is used for SSH or login into your EC2 instance. Since this EC2 instance is a Linux based, so we need to do certain checks like uh, you try to access the EC2 instance for checking the logs, start installing certain packages. So for that reason, we need to enable the SSH also so that you can access that EC2 instance from your PuTT or from your terminal. The third thing is ICMP. This ICMP I have put into the inbound security group so that a user can ping and check the status of your EC2 instance, but whether that particular EC2 instance is accessible or not using the ping command. So these are the very common uh, inbound rule which we generally uh, put inside our security group so that we can access our services running into our EC2 instance. But here I have taken an example of only the EC2 instance, but this security groups is applicable for other resources, just for example, load balancer, target group, and then your ECS services, Kubernetes services. So there are lots of other resources which also follow the same uh, uh, rules which are uh, which I have just explained to you. Now the next thing is how to compose your security group. So there are three components to your security group. One is source, second is protocol, and third is port. So port part we understand like if you are running an application on a certain port, then you should define that port into the port section. Secondly is protocol. So you should know like what kind of a protocol you are using or you're trying to access, whether it's a HTTP, whether it's a HTTPS, whether it's a TCP, whether it's a ICMP or whether it's a SSH. So you should know the protocol for which you need to create that particular security group for inbound or outbound. The third thing is source, which you can see over here. And in the source, you need to define the IP ranges from where you want to validate the incoming request. Since it's an inbound rule, which you can see. So I'm expecting this is the source from where our request is originating. So as of now, you can see this IP range is 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0, which is quite open range and which means anyone from outside of AWS environment like me sitting at home can make a request to this particular EC2 instance if you see this IP address over here. And if in case if I change it to very specific IP address, then I'm allowing that particular IP to access this particular EC2 instance. And if you see this 000, which means I'm allowing everyone to access this EC2 instance. So that's the basic a role for constructing your security group. The next confusion you might be having is like, what's the difference between a firewall and the security group? So the security group is responsible for validating the traffic in between the resources of AWS. So here you can see this is my public subnet and this is my private subnet. And in the both subnet, I have the EC2 instance, which is this one and which is this one. 
okay now i want to validate this traffic or i want to put certain rules on the request so if a person is trying to access from public ec2 instance to private ec2 instance then i will have a security group so the security group can exist in between the aws resources so here you can see the request will come from here and the request will go to here based on the security group rules as i told you like how to compose the security group so you need to specify the source so here i have specified the source and you can see the ip range is 11.0.1.0 and that should be the ip range of your source which is our public subnet which you can see over here so 11.0.1.0 so here i have specified this source the protocol is http and the port is 80 so you need to define the protocol and the port where your application is running so this is how you define the inbound rule but remember this security group rule we are defining within the aws resources so that's the main difference like you can create a security group rule between the aws resources but in case of firewall which you can see over here which is this one so this firewall is responsible for external traffic so, so let's uh, assume that i am sitting over here at my home and trying to access uh, this particular ec2 instance so i will just make a request that request will go to firewall firewall will do some blocking and allowing based on the rules i have configured and once it is allowed then i am able to access this ec2 instance okay but if i have composed or if i have set some security group rule then those security group rule will be evaluated whether i am allowed to or not and then i will be allowed to access that ec2 instance so security uh, group can exist within the resources or it can exist for a single resource as well now we have seen the inbound security group rules so similarly we have outbound security group rules also so here i have taken an example like here i am sitting and i'm trying to access an ec2 instance so here i will try to access this one and here i will have a security group for my inbound uh, inbound rule which will uh, validate my incoming request but there will be a similar outbound rule so if a request is going out from here then i will have an outbound security group rule as well where i will also follow the same pattern where i will define the source i will define the protocol and i will define the port and generally the outbound rules are a little bit lenient so i'm not saying that it's always lenient but it sometimes it is lenient and we generally allow uh, these kind of a rules in the outbound rule but there are certain scenarios where you need to uh, set these kind of a rules so that your outgoing uh, outgoing request is also controlled via security groups let's take a look onto the demo and in this demo i'll just try to set up an ec2 instance which you can see and i'll try to set up an apache uh, which will run on a uh, port 80 over here so i'll try to access this application and this will validate our uh, inbound security group rule and then i will try to access this particular service running on to ec2 instance one more thing if you're new to this channel and if you're really liking this kind of a content then i have a membership program for my youtube channel where i can uh, where i generally post these kind of uh, in-depth session videos which can be really useful and those are really close to the industry standard like how we work into the industry so if you really like these kind of a session then please consider being a member of this particular community uh, let's get back to our demo. all right so here is my aws console so for creating a security group i'll just first go to the ec2 instance and here i will just click on launch instances and here i will just show you the section where you can create a security group so if you scroll down further over here so here into the networking section if you click on edit then you will find a security group option here you can see a create security group so here either you can create a security group or either you can uh, select an existing create uh, already created security group as well so for the time being i'm just gonna put a security group first of all i'm just gonna enable it is already enabled the ssh and port 22 which you can see over here and i'm just gonna add a one more security group where i'm just gonna use the protocol as http which is this one and the port i'm using 80 and the source type so here i will choose anywhere so once you choose anywhere then you can see the ip range which is 0.0.0.0 .0 okay and that's been set now we will just try to launch our ec2 instance so for that i'll just go over here into the top and here i will enter the name so demo uh, security group ec2 i'm just gonna choose the instance so i'll choose ubuntu and uh, key pair i'm just gonna create a new key pair so test 
demo security group keys and i have downloaded the private key and public key associated with this security group uh, with this ec2 instance here i have already created the vpc so i'm just going to choose that one i'll just put the public subnet and if you don't know how to create a vpc subnet as a such key pair then i have already uploaded a one session so i'll put a link into the description section uh, of the part i think it's part 11 or 12 just check that uh, particular session uh, you'll find a description section in the description section and also onto the screen so that session will help you to understand like how to set up your vpc how to set up your public subnet private subnet internet gateway so all thing i have explained to you over there but anyway let's let's get back to the point of our security group so i'll enable the public ip over here and i'll just check once again so here you can see our uh, security group so one is already there i have created uh, let me check i think it has gone back so i will just uh, re-add once again once again, so I'm just gonna choose HTTP. I'm just gonna choose anywhere, 000. I think uh, I just tried to fill those details initially before filling all these network settings. So that's why it, uh, it just vanished. So I recreated everything over here. So here you can see I have enabled, uh, SSH was already there. I have put the HTTP over here, okay? And uh, after that, I think everything looks good. I'll just click on the launch instance over here. I'll be back once this instance is up and running. All right, so here you can see my instance is up and running. So which you can see the public IP is this one. So I'm just gonna click on connect to access that EC2 instance. And I'm just gonna use the SSH client to access my EC2 instance. So here I'm just gonna copy this particular command from here and I'll just go to terminal. And here I have downloaded the key which we have generated. This is our private key. And I'm just gonna paste the command over here. Type yes to connect. And here I am able to access that particular EC2 instance. Now the thing is we need to start our service of apache onto port 80 so for that i'm just going to use the script uh, which i'm just going to show to you uh, which is this one so this is the script we are just going to use so i'm just going to copy this script from here and paste it over here All right, so I'm, I'm just gonna explain this whole command to you. So here, this is, I'm just trying to update the package manager. Here, I'm trying to install the Apache. Here, I'm just trying to uh, update the index.html page of my Apache. And here, I'm just uh, restarting the Apache after installing it. So I'm just gonna post this uh, instruction into the description section. So from here, you can just copy this instruction if you are interested into it. All right, so I have just executed this commands over here, and now I am able to access, uh, I am able to restart my apache and those services are up and running so what we can do we can just verify that whether i'm able to access that service or not so first of all i'll just go to instance copy the public ip address go over here and paste it over here and here you can see i'm able to access so by default it is running on a port 80 so if i put a port 80 over here and hit enter then on i'm able to access it so that's the default port for our apache so the concept which i'm trying to convince over here is we have already set up the security group which you can see over here and this security group which is this one this is allowing us to access that particular service so now what i will do i will just try to modify this security group so here you can see this security group rule is available for inbound i'm just going to go to this security group id which you can see over here that's the security group id click on it and here i'm just gonna edit inbound rule which you can see over here click on edit inbound rule and here i'm just gonna delete this inbound rule and click on save so now i have saved it uh, let's go back to ec2 uh, click on instances instances id and uh, go to security and see now i have disabled or i have removed the port 80 from the security group let's try to refresh this page again whether we are able to access or not so here you can see it is loading uh, i will close and i'll open once again so that it's visible to you so i'll copy this and paste it over here and here you can see it is just keep on loading but it's not able to access that particular service because from the inbound rule uh, which you can see I have removed that particular security group so that's the purpose of our security group to restrict the traffic okay so I'll just open that security group once again edit inbound rule click add rule click on uh, uh, HTTP over here and uh, select from anywhere which is this one and before clicking on save rule I'll just open the tab here you can see it's still loading and I'm just gonna click on save rule 
and it should take and here you can see the page is accessible now so that's the purpose of our security group rule the next thing which i would like to show you is the outbound rule for outbound rule let's access the instance which we have already started so click on the instance id and go to the security tab over here and go to the outbound rule and here you can see all the request is allowed to go out from our ec2 instance so what does it mean so if i try to open my ec2 instance i'll clear the screen over here so if i try to curl any external website then it should be possible from my ec2 instance because our outbound rule is very open and it is allowing every request to go out so for that reason i'm just going to use curl ip info dot io and that's the external website which i'm trying to curl and it is giving me the ip addresses of my ec2 instance and if i show you here you can see this is the same website which i have opened and here it is accessible from my local browser so uh, here you can see my ec2 instance is able to access that particular website so my request is going out from my ec2 instance so what i'll do just is that i will just modify this outbound rule and i'll remove that particular outbound rule from security group then we will see that our ec2 instance will not be able to access the external website so here just go to the security group and go to the here is an inbound we are not changing that go to outbound edit outbound rule and click on delete this outbound rule click on save rules over here and let's go back to our ec2 instance i'll clear the screen and i'll try to curl the same uh, ip or the url so i'll just put ip info.io and here you can see now i'm not able to curl that particular ip info.io so this is how the inbound and outbound rule works so you can set and customize your inbound and outbound rule based on your need and you can just make your ec2 uh, uh, instance i'm just taking the ec2 instance but you can make your resources more secure with your security groups